All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today, I'm going to do a little unboxing of a rod that I've been wanting to use for a couple years now. And I wasn't sure if it was worth getting because the problem with getting this rod is it means I have to go chase these fish. Uh, I'm one of those people, if I get a rod, I use it and I abuse it. So like I got those catfish rods this year. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I did a ton of open water fishing this year. Um, if you're not new, you guys need to go back and check some of those videos out when you're bored. Uh, I didn't get as many views on them because they don't, you know, I don't know why, but they don't get as many views based on something, but there's 10,000 of you plus go check out the open water videos. Cause I, I use those rods a lot and I caught a lot of catfish. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, that is anyways, this rod today is another big fish rod <laughs> uh this whole season i've been kind of like getting back into chasing giants uh i want to do some more big walleye fishing uh this winter and stuff like that but this rod if you guys can comment below uh do me a favor comment below if i need to go chase these fish obviously it might be in the title and thumbnail this is going to be like a first-hand review of the rod and then i'm going to do like a comprehensive review after i've caught a couple of fish on it uh one that actually kind of breaks down wh whether it was worth it or not to get this rod. Um, you guys know, I know it, uh, you guys that aren't new here. I work with tuned up custom rods. I have a bunch of their stuff, a bunch of their rods. Uh, I just did a couple other rod reviews this year. Um, I got some new stuff to try this winter. It's going to be fun. Hopefully it's put to use and it's, it's worth it. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, this rod is going to be, like I said, it's a, I, I can already tell it's going to be a monster rod. So let's get this open and show you guys what we're working with this season. Okay, and before we open this thing, just remember, if you guys want to support the channel, merch, and any links in the description, it helps out greatly. And yeah, it's pretty much the only way, reason I get to get out and film for you guys full time. Uh, if I didn't have the support from you, I wouldn't be doing this. So thank you guys for all the support you guys give. Anybody that's new here that wants to pick up some merch, it's linked down below. Uh, there's those little boxes you guys can check out. You don't even have to go to the site at first. If you want to check out some of the stuff, you can click on those boxes. But let's get to opening this beast. Um, the reason I say beast, because I know what this rod is. And <laughs> if you guys know giant fish, you know you need the appropriate monster rod to chase those giant fish obviously you can go ultra light and i do that a lot i fish ultra light scenarios for most of my fish but this specific fish cannot be fished for ultra lightly i mean you can but it just wouldn't be right this is my tuned up customs lake trout precision 38 incher I would have gotten like a 40 to like a 45, which is like your normal lake trout rod. Um, but I didn't have a case that could carry it and I don't want a case that big. Uh, so the 38, I know will fit in the case with my big reel that I'm gonna be throwing on this. This is a beast of a rod. I got this with the, the reel seat, so it's nice and firm. Uh, any of you guys that fish lake trout, comment below, I need tips, I need locations. I have an understanding of how to fish them, but my brain isn't like locked in on it. So like, I don't know where to start early ice, mid season and late season. Uh, I don't know the top best baits. I know tubes work and spoons work. Uh, I do kind of understand how to get them going, but I'm gonna try and learn as much as I can about them this year because now I have a rod to do it with. And this thing, this thing is stupid stiff. Like, this is a heavy, heavy action rod. Like, if you guys are interested in getting a rod like this, just so you understand what you're getting, this is a very heavy rod. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, it's thick all the way through. Thick with, like, five Cs. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm excited. This thing, I like the way the real seat sits on it. I like how everything's put together. It's just a simple whoop your fish's butt rod. Like, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. And you guys need to comment below if you're excited too because to put this thing to use is going to be so fun. And then I actually have 
the reel for this one already. So I might as well just throw that on there real quick just to show you guys what it looks like. Well, what do you guys think? I went with all the white wraps because I got a white, white and black reel and then uh, it's a white and black rod so it works out that way. But uh, this thing, I hope you can see, I can, that's, I'm putting a ton of, ton of pressure on that thing to get this drag to move right now. So uh, I have 10 pound test on here right now. Tell me, uh, comment below, Do you th if you guys chase lake trout, do you think I need to go lighter than 10 pound test? Um, I know I know guys that use like eight and six. Um, I know crazy people that use four. Um, let me know, what do you guys think? Comment below if I should switch out this 10 pound test that I have on here. This is 100% fluorocarbon. So it should be invisible, but I don't know. I mean, it's I don't know how lake trout are with that kind of stuff. But if I can get away with the 10 pound test, I'm gonna try to. Um, and then, like I said, comment below some of your like top favorite lures and stuff like that that I should be trying uh, when I'm out chasing these guys. Cause I'm gonna do a couple trips this year where that's all I'm doing is chasing lake trout. Uh, I want to get some big ones, but I mean, just to catch a couple through the ice would on purpose would be nice. I've caught them before, but never, never really targeted them on purpose. And that's the goal this winter is to try and stick some monster fish for you guys. So hopefully you guys are staying tuned for that. Okay. So my first impressions of that reel or rod is literally, it's just a monster. It's like, if I hook something like that, I would just reel it in like it was a minnow or something like that. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty beefy, but I do know lake trout can get serious and you need a serious rod for, you know, big lakers. Uh, obviously if you're using smaller baits, you can use smaller rods, but I have a, I have a tuned up customs commander actually. So I can use that for like smaller spoons and smaller baits, I'm guessing. But that one's going to be like my home run rod where I'm throwing down giant baits. Uh, and it's all going to be based on what people are kind of recommending to me that know what they're talking about. If you know Big Lake Trout, please comment below. I would appreciate any help this season because the more fish that I can catch, the more I can bring to you guys, and obviously the more fun it's going to be. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little unboxing and you know review video of the LTP. The uh, Tuned Up Customs is always linked below. They kind of supply me with my rods, and I appreciate every bit of it. So hopefully you guys, like I said, enjoy this video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, could you please just remember to... Yeah.